pages I like to look at sometimes. The science pages? Yeah, yeah I, I love know. those ones. I love science shit. Yeah. I love history and shit. Or as we say, fucking love history. Fucking love history, man. (laughs) This guy's getting shot with bacon grease. He's so impressed. All right. So this is Jazz. And Cher. We're just kind of. We're just soft enough. We're off. We're off the rails. Yeah. Giving up the ghost podcast. Yeah. That's in case you you didn't know. In case you didn't know. In case you tuned in and you were confused about what you were listening to. I posted earlier. So I'm going to talk about this. About six hours ago, I did a little. I didn't know we could do posts like a. Like a question. Yeah. Like. I pose a question. I pose a question. To the masses. A poll. That's it. Oh, a poll. It's a poll. It's fake news. <laughs> okay, Carrot. Calm down there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Trump wannabe. Just kidding. She's not. <laughs> oh, don't God, hate, no. Don't hate don't us. Don't do that. Don't hate us. No, we're not that way. Mm-mm. Trust us. So I asked the question, do you believe in ghosts? 62% of people voted yes. Yes. So far. And that's, that's more than 50. That's more than 50. And then also, I also asked, do you have a paranormal experience? And 37% voted yes. No. Oh. So, and then it's actually asked, pretty high, really. It it's almost high. 40% of people. It is. And then I also asked, and also I said, do you believe in ghosts? And that was most definitely. And then there was a, no, nah, hogwash. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody said. Nobody, not no, hogwash. I think it. they know better. They know better. Uh, they know we'll browbeat them if they <laughs> I'll ridicule you That's into it. a coma. We will hunt you down on That's Facebook. Right. You know better. We have a new logo. Thank you, Cher. It is absolutely oh. amazing. After four years and uh, happy anniversary. We just shared in our January. Oh, Would yeah, have been our right. fourth year. Ooh. Fourth year. And four when we years. started this podcast four years ago, I mean, yeah. We were crazy. We've been, we're so crazy. Yeah, I know. Um, we've been on hiatus now, probably. This was probably our third third time about six months yeah. each yeah. well we got the pandemic yeah. shit we got yeah. other shit so shit, shit, shit. four years maybe only like two and a half really that we've been yeah, recording say three yeah so yeah. in saying that i did some stats this is really interesting uh when we started in 2019 there were worldwide there was seven hundred thousand podcasts and do you dare to hazard to oh, i guess how many there seven are today? million Eight million. Shut up. Shut the front door. Everybody and their freaking dog has a podcast. Wow. Like seriously. Like all these like when I'm watching an interview and they go, Oh, and by the way, I have a podcast. Oh yeah. Oh please. I know. Everything. Everyone has a like, podcast. Wow, really? I mean, I'm not saying we're fabulous, even though we think we're fabulous, but I mean at the same time, it's just like that's so much, eh? That's you know? so much. Too much. Well, I mean, the pandemic happened. Everyone yeah. was bored, right? Right. It was like, let's. Because let, I don't like the sound dumb. of my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> let's record our dumbass thoughts. Yeah. Wow. It's more ass we saw. It. Uh, more more ass. <laughs> more <laughs> ass we saw. <laughs> <Beer talking. laughs> it's more like it's more like we saw a need and we filled it because there was nothing That's on right. Winnipeg. <laughs> we didn't see an no- ass. <laughs> to see my ass. <laughs> and fill it. I can't even see in the rear view mirror. Actually, I can. But we're not going to go there. Oh, my God. That's funny. <laughs> so I want to do a little quick thing here. Eight million. Holy shit balls. Eight million. So anyway, we're back we to are this. Doing... Oh, this out. We are going to be doing public locations here in Winnipeg that we know about. And uh, again, these are... This is a question we threw out to Reddit people on our page. Mm-hmm. And we asked... What's your favorite Winnipeg ghost story and or do you have a paranormal story to share? Because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. It is. In all shapes and forms, apparently. Except spit and saliva. Yeah, well, well, COVID. I mean, it depends. No. Okay, yeah. That's a different sharing. So bad. So we did, uh, we did a big piece on the Fort Gary Hotel. And then we just covered some on uh, local uh, homes. Locals. And now we've got the public places. See where the we're gonna public. Ask. What are we? What is the first one? I is it the, the monastery? It is, it is the, the monastery. monastery. You want to take it away? Uh, take it away. Okay, this is from Spicy Poo Poo. <laughs> oh. Years and years ago, decided to check out the monastery after midnight with some friends. Mm-hmm. The perimeter of the monastery was bushes, and we all saw the same thing. There were five of us, and it was a shadow, almost like a really dark batman cape 
kind of fold and disappeared into the bushes of the perimeter. Ooh. We booked it pretty fast. I would too. Yes. Pew pew. And this one is from... It was the same... Oh, it was from somebody making a comment. Act, oh. Actuary standard? Yes. Yeah. So they said, in the southeast field, there is a hatch in the ground. Below is a large basement with water chest deep. Go to Kitty Corner and you'll find what you came to see. I ain't going nowhere. So for real? Is there really? That's what they said, yeah. Well, why the, why the hell would creepy. they have that there? That's creepy. Wouldn't that have been blocked off or buried or... Yeah, and then I asked because I wanted to know more. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. is this a former house, like Southeast Field by the monastery? She's like, whereabouts? We must find out more. Like, I need more. Yeah. yeah. Possibly a form of cold storage is what oh, I'm thinking. Oh, maybe. Because they used to do that in the ground. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, Ooh. Sounds like a good place to store stuff. Yeah. Not. Not. No. And then... Huh. Somebody else had also said... This is the spicy poo-poo oh, answer back. Oh, spicy poo-poo, yes. Hey, no probs. It says there were some lights around the monastery. The grass clearing around it and then bush. So I guess what they're saying is, like, it's kind of maintained, I guess, to a certain, mm-hmm. and then it melds mm-hmm. into bush, right? Which mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah. All right. And then the next one is the Pantages Playhouse. So this one is... Oh, do you want me to go or shoot Yeah, no, no, shoot it. Sonomous Prime is the name of the person. Uh, it said, I worked at Pantages Playhouse. There's a room in the basement called the Sand Room. That, I was told, was originally going to be a tunnel uh-huh. from the theater to City Hall across the street. It was just an unfinished dark room filled with dirt and a big freezer. We kept the ice cream for the bars in. For the bars in, yeah. This is like at the end of the tunnel, a big freezer. <clears throat> I guess so. Big they dirt. keep the bodies? Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Um... That's where I keep my bodies. <laughs> anyway, uh, it says, I was in there one day filling a freezer bag with ice cream and I was leaning in to grab the big handfuls when I felt like someone was in the room. I thought it was my coworker, so I climbed out and there was a shadow in the shape of a man next to the freezer deeper in the room. It was like a man wearing a morph suit or something, but shadowy. It's hard to explain. I saw that thing again when there was a party in the theater. We were setting up in the new lobby and my boss asked me to grab a mirror from the backstage. Rather than take the stairs all the way back there, I just went in through the audience and climbed the few steps up to the stage. The actual auditorium was empty but lit up. The stage was empty. I walked across it and grabbed the mirror and walked back down the stairs. Something caught my attention and there was this shadowy man in the balcony looking at me. I was so terrified to go under the balcony Uh because I was afraid he'd show up beside me or something. And I just rushed out. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. No. 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 Don't like that at all. Somebody, just in a short, brief continuation, somebody named uh, Sob Chak on Shabos. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Must have been drunk at the time. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, they, they added to that. They said, I've been the last person out of the Pantages before. Closed it up in the dark. It's pretty terrifying in there. I can uh-huh. imagine. Really? Yeah. God, I don't like that. Buddy system, buddy system, people. Yeah, I don't like Jeez. that at all. Mm-mm. Especially the morph suit thing. I'm like, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking of like Predator, right? It's oh, like yeah. something that hides but yeah. is there. That's creepy. I don't like that either. Like, I think we did uh, we did the Pantages on itself before. I'm pretty sure we did. But then there was the other one. Remember the one with the story? So the Pantages is the one that's across from Centennial, mm-hmm. across from Main Street. But then there's the other one further in on McDermott. What is that one called? I can't remember. We did a story on that mm-hmm. because there was the urban legend about the boy that burned in the fire. That's right. Yes. But we disproved that. there was that. no fire. No. No. We disproved that. And there was never a boy in a wheelchair because and how, how does the he get to the get second floor? <laughs> like, I love <laughs> yeah. how these things, these urban legends kind of roll yeah, into itself. It. Because they were saying he died in a fire, but that wasn't the theater that had a fire. There was a fire in a theater that was on Lombard, mm-hmm. which is like three blocks away. Yeah. So anyway, but uh, but we did do one on, on the um, Pantages. There was another, a specter type person. Remember somebody said there was something about the rope? That was me. Something said about the rope that it felt like it was tied around its neck oh, or something. Oh, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. So if you are curious about that, go to our catalog. I couldn't at this point tell you which episode that was. Yeah, but... no, we can't. We can't count. 130 know. episodes later. <laughs> or 36. I don't know. Anyway. Mm. So, oh, the next one's my favorite. Do this one. Do this one. The Winnipeg Tunnels? <laughs> yes. Ooh. I get so excited. This is from Actuary Standard. Hey, didn't Again. Actuary Standard comment on something else? Yes. Alrighty. Well, this is 
Uh, Actuary Standard was <laughs> in his early 20s and worked at the TD Center on Portage and Main at security. Had to do patrols on a rear, bleh, on a weird side building connected by a tunnel. Right. Definitely other tunnels bricked up along the way. Oh, interesting. One room looked like everyone just left one day. It's just oh. gone. Dust and everything from an office in the 80s. Things creak and bump down there in the tunnels. Ew. Mm. Don't like that. Yeah. And then, of course, me being the geek. Ooh, <laughs> tunnels. Ooh. A near and dear subject yeah. we covered in an earlier episode. Please tell us more. Please. We're looking for tunnel <laughs> stories. Yeah. Um, did I ever tell you, like, way back in a few previous lives ago, I worked at uh, People's Jewelers in Winnipeg Square. Like, this is. Oh, okay. Yeah. It yeah. was there in the 80s, early 90s kind of thing. Uh, one of the many jobs that no sooner I left, they closed up. It's kind of funny how I have that effect. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the, I'm gone. Goodbye. <laughs> and then they shut the doors. Yeah. So they had uh, this one jeweler like a repair jewelry service that was actually located downtown that all the, um, <clears throat> all the people's jewelers would send their work. AMJ, I think that stands out. That was the name of the, uh, the company. It was like, uh, like a company that a service, like a, a repair service. Right, you know, right, right, right. That we would send all the jewelry repairs. So and then like subcontract everything in there. Or? They did everything there. Oh, right? okay. Yeah, On yeah. premise. And yeah. I think that's why a lot of people that worked at the offices downtown like to get the repairs done at our location because we had a lot of repairs because it was not that we do it in shop, but because like the other places around the city, they had to courier their jewelry to this guy. Right. right? And he was actually off Lombard. But there was a trick on how I, because when I would get assigned to run the jewelry mm -hmm. to him mm -hmm. weekly, and I'd be carrying like thousand dollars worth of jewelry on yeah, me, yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. just do 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 yeah. walking Not through, me. and yeah. I go through Winnipeg Square, you go through the tunnel, they call it the donut underneath, right? Uh -huh. And there was actually an offshoot, and it was actually a stairwell that led. It was very creepy, and it was actually it went underneath, like by the Richardson Building. Uh, and then it would go across Lombard and it would come up into one of that, that old building. and The brick one there? Yeah. I can't remember what's there right now. It's changed some. It's right beside Bailey's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he would be in that, but he was in the basement, I Ew. think. Ew. And, and you uh, walked in there? Are you crazy? It was all well lit. It wasn't too far <laughs> off the beaten path. But it's just funny. It's just like one of these doors in the concourse and you would not know. No. And it, and it went... Like straight through across underneath Lombard. Wow. Like all these tunnels in Winnipeg and nobody That's really creepy. knows or talks about it. Yeah. That's why we want more information on the yeah. tunnels because... We need to know. Yeah. Because like what we had heard to going back again to our tunnels episode, uh, back in the 90s, MTS bought like 80% of these tunnels downtown right, mm -hmm. for their fiber optic network. Yeah. And then they supposedly backfilled in a lot of uh, How would they do that? How yeah. could they? How? What are they like manually taking wheelbarrows Board it up shit in there? Like Yeah. Like the, the story's a little yeah. sketch, quite yeah. frankly. So, um, so the whole system tunnel is very vast and not a lot of Winnipeggers realize that, you know, they're walking and driving over them every day. Mm -hmm. So we would want to hear more. Yeah. I want to know. We got to find an MTS know. worker. Yeah, you know. That's what we need. A retired MTS, MTS worker. people out there. Yeah. Who's who's worked in tunnels? Come on. Exactly. Hit us up. And in connection to tunnels, there's the Centennial Concert Hall, which That's is right. our next story. So, from who's that from? Comedian Time. Comedian Time. I love you long time. I Give love me you comedian love you. time. And it's funny. Make no. me laugh. <laughs> Says there's a little girl ghost that used to always be downstairs and in the backstage at Centennial Concert Hall, singing and twirling and never scary, but several local dancers have seen her when it's Aww. not so busy. Oh, she's just spinning around there. She's having a good time. Someone's child that was there to watch and wait patiently. No, she probably, it's probably a spirit that did not die there, but like what I... You know, I yeah, but like someone's on. mother or someone used to work yeah, there. Yeah, you know, had a good time. Probably spent like half of their childhood sure. there, right? Does that mean I'm going to end up at the at the Cinnaboyne Downs? <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> that was a bad part of the childhood. I, I got dragged there all the time. No, thank you. But I mean, this was probably pacing. This yeah. <laughs> this was probably the little girl's happy place. Yeah. And her spirit as an old lady probably gravitated back yeah. there. That's probably. Decided that's, to do some dancing. That's right. Aww. Next one. Local Catholic school by Tok Tokai 32. Token 32. Tokai. No. <laughs> is that like Hawkeye? Tokai. Tokai. Anyway, there isn't a name for this school. So, I mean, 
Like, mm. I'm sorry. You put Catholic at school in haunted stories. They're <laughs> all haunted. Yeah. Like, you know, they're all there haunted. There you go. So, yeah. Anyway, for this particular uh, kid... Blah, 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 blah. For this particular uh, incident here, uh, this person says, "When I was in grade four, my Catholic school had a part had us participate one night in a Christmas concert inside the adjacent church. Each grade basically had their own Christmas song that they had to sing to the audience while dressed in costume to the theme of the song. So it said, "Well, nine slash ten year old me forgot my costume inside the classroom in the school, so my teacher unlocked the door." into the school and let me inside to quickly grab my costume. Uh. As I was leaving the classroom, I ran into a young girl in the hallway. I've never seen her before. And it was a small school where everybody knew each other. Uh, But I didn't give it much thought as it could have been someone's student sibling or something who needed to use the bathroom. Excuse me. Before my teacher locked the door back up, I told her to wait for the girl so she didn't get locked in. (gasps) My teacher was puzzled because she didn't let anybody else in and the school should have been empty. We didn't go back in to check, nor did she question me any more about it either. Why didn't they go back It still creeps me out to this day. Right. Why? Because they know it was there. Because the teacher knew. Exactly. Oh, that's just a little girl. No, we're good. Let's go. (laughs) That's just a little ghost girl. She's fine. Yeah. She's fine. So, Ooh. oh my God, I don't like that. Well, they must know that one then. But like, you know, and I made a comment. I said, like, you know, the parent, if it was a legit person, they would have escorted them to the bathroom. Like, well, know, yeah, think. they don't just hear go pee, go pee. <laughs> That's why I say to my <laughs> dog, like, they, exactly. let her out there, go open pee. the door, go pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then why wouldn't they go check either? Especially, mm-hmm. can you imagine some teacher, some kid goes, oh wait, wait, wait for the girl, and they'd be like. Oh, yeah. girl. What, what girl? Yeah. The like, teacher you know. knew. They so knew. Oh, yeah. They oh. totally knew. Bloody hell. Creepy. Yeah. You want to take the next one? Elmwood. Elmwood. <laughs> Fuck. Elmwood Cemetery. Lovely. Love Elmwood. Who's mm. this? D. DJ. DJ. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. It says, I got plenty, but I'll keep it Winnipeg related. Sure. Back in high school, my best friend and I decided to go to Elmwood Cemetery Cemetery one night and visit the grave of the little boy, Joseph, who who drowned in 1912. Apparently, he will communicate with you if you place toys on his grave. In addition, I wanted to note, we remain respectful on the grounds throughout the entire time. Well, we tried that and nothing happened until we got home. I dropped my friend off and then I drive back to my house, which was two blocks away. As soon as you enter the door of my old house, you see the basement immediately. And as soon as I walked in, the basement light flickered. Nope. And the central vacuum turned on by itself and shut off. Nope. My friend said as she got to her bedroom, which was in the basement, her ceiling light bulb unscrewed and smashed on the floor. Lovely. That's not, they're not happy. No. Never did anything like that again in my life. No. Well... I mean, I think if you're going in there with the bad intent to look for something. I yeah. Mean, I mean, But okay, you know, like a, a light flickering a and people... a door opening is one thing, but the whole unscrewing and smashing. That's intent. That's, yeah, yeah totally. it's a little more angry. It's sending a message, Yeah. Right? Like, like, I mean, and it's funny that both happened to both of them simultaneously yeah. after mm-hmm. they went to the Elmwood Cemetery. So they, exactly. they must have had like an attachment, like a bad attachment. I wonder if the, oh, see, they're both in the basement. I wonder if the whole unscrewing of the light bulb okay. happened the same time the light flickered in that basement. Mm, sounds like probably timing wise. You know right? what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like Cher didn't come with us that one time, but we did the cemetery tour uh, about mm, a year and yeah, a half yeah, yeah. ago. And I just did some Googling, just did some research and I found like a protection spell oh yeah 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 i mean before and, you went just to make and, sure and before people start you pointing fingers know. like i mean it's just like anytime you say a prayer it's just like anytime you sing happy birthday these are all spells and not stuff. on wood however touch wood Ooh. however yeah however you want to look at it so yeah. i mean if it if it does anything good why not so yeah. you know when, when we enter the cemetery we let the people know there the spirits know there we're not here to cause any harm or or miscontent like we're here out of the goodness of our hearts and we leave you here and mm-hmm. that's kind of what we said yeah, don't come home with us a little please. fancier but i mean like that's <laughs> what we said going and, and leaving just to announce that nope yeah you stay here yeah thank yeah, you yeah, yeah just like that time we went to Teresa's, i did the same thing yeah 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 yeah. we did yeah yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> do not get do not pass go do not mm-hmm. collect 50 dollars. you stay your yeah, ass here yeah keep yeah. here please 
keep your spirits to yourself anyway. no but hmm. yeah so that was just some uh stories of local locations here in the city that we all know about in the city and in the city no, and, yeah. and yeah. there's probably many 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 more so many many stories. many many more you know and we're just scratching the surface I oh mean, hell yeah a lot of people choose to not share their experiences either because they can't explain it so not they're say, embarrassed they don't want anyone else to think that they're, they're nuts. crazy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No. you know but i mean like with us i think a lot of people appreciate us we're never embarrassed mostly <laughs> we know people think we're crazy <laughs> uh-huh. yeah we know we're crazy so you can't put that on us yeah, no so no, I mean, but i mean <laughs> People feel... But we like to share. And, yeah. and, you know, like, that's just it. We would never pass judgment on you. Like, you have an experience. We've had an experience. We get it. Like, we totally yeah. get it. So, I mean, I would never tell you that never happened. Like, how can you? You can't. No, no I know. No. Yeah. So, weird shit happens to me all the time. I just close it off. <laughs> kind of have to. Nope. <laughs> but, like, I mean, this is really a good place. It's a safe place. So, mm-hmm. if you need to tell us a story you want to share with us, definitely feel free to. Whether you want us to tell it to others yeah or not that right that's totally respectful. and they don't have to speak it they can write it some people are afraid to speak too right they can oh, write yeah. it in a story yeah. we can read it out just yeah. like this, this yeah. is just like the one to. friend uh we made on instagram she does have stories but she doesn't want her voice on i said well yeah. write us you know yeah write it uh definitely so and if mm-hmm. they were to do and that if they were to write <laughs> where would they do <laughs> that share uh giving up goes podcast at gmail.com excellent Mm-hmm. And you can find us anywhere: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, That's local bar. It. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, no, we don't do that. No, anymore. we don't. No, no, too old for that shit. Too old and too expensive to go drinking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, That's I'm gonna have to start making my own beer. Oh, <gasps> I can. I think I have you? a beer kit downstairs. Nice. Do it. Uh, do it. Do, do it. it. It's like do five it. gallons of beer. Oh wow. Do we it. used to do wine. We used to make our own wine. I still have tons of wine left. So. Well, there you go. But I think we should do a wine contest soon. Hey, to celebrate us coming back, we should do yeah. a contest soon. Do I have all those goodies? I had a bunch of goodies. Did I give you all those goodies? I think I have them at home. Do you? Yeah. The little, the little dolls. Yeah. The yeah, little, yeah. 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 I, the little okay. dolls. Yeah. I have those. Yeah. Good. Good. And all then right. we're making t-shirts and stuff. So watch uh-huh. for that on Facebook. Uh, got a little shop. Jazz is a t-shirt oh, wizard. Oh, making that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Surf's Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I'm looking at the monitor. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have t-shirts coming out for sale. Uh, they've always kind of been there. I'm just not pushy. I'm not a salesperson. I just like making shit. Yeah, I know, shit, yeah. You know? Neither am I. So uh, we got a, like a little shop. We're starting a Facebook page soon. Little More shop, details on that. Little, little shop. Hope no, no, no. Not horrors. Oh, oh, no. Little shop. <laughs> anyway. But uh, we'll have stuff available. And if you have something specifically you have in mind that mm, you would mm-hmm. like us to make, we can do that too. Mm-hmm. Sure. We can do that. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to touch on tonight. So touch, touch. touchy, touchy, no touchy. <laughs> <laughs> or like my daughter says, no touchy. The what is what's that thing they always say? The no no square. <laughs> the no and I'm square. like, pardon me, <laughs> kids. Damn kids. Damn kids. Anyway, so remember to live every day like it is your last. But never give up the ghost. Never give up the ghost. Bye for now. Ciao ciao. Yeah, later, alligator. Mm-hmm.